Hey, welcome back to training for top agents. This is Kurt with Inspectors Over Coffee. We're going to start to talk now about some things that are beyond the scope of your normal home inspection because not every house has this, these items. So the first one, the most common one that uh, we get requests for is a pool. Um, so let's talk about what we're looking for for a pool. We're not pool operators. We're not, um, you know, it's, it's just like the house where it, it's a general inspection that includes the pool. Um, the first thing that should happen is that inspectors should try to operate the pool equipment, the filters, the pumps, and if there's a heater, the heater. Um, again, if the electric heater, if it's an electric heater and it's above 75 degrees outside, then you don't want to turn the heater on because uh, you could damage an electric heater above 75 degrees. But we're going to take pictures of the pool, if there's a hot tub, the filter working, the light working, um, all the equipment working. Um, we're going to notate what's how what's the material inside the pool what type of filters being used um if the light doesn't work we're going to talk about that the first section here is some child safety issues and we if you compare like our inspection report to like your typical home inspection report you're going to see that ours especially in the pool section is 30 to 40 percent longer most of that is like good homeowner information there's a bunch of um just pool safety child safety child barriers and then there's what's called the virginia Graham baker act um, which was put into law in 2008, and it doesn't apply to residential pools, it applies to commercial pools. But if you're the kind of person who might have a young uh, person with long hair in their pool, you really want to go and read about all that. And basically, I'll, I'll get, well, let's just talk about it now. Uh, the Virginia Graham Baker Act is because a politician's granddaughter had passed away because the filter running equipment sucking the uh, water back in to the filter area um, caught a little girl's hair and she drowned. And this had happened obviously more than once. So they passed a law saying that um, commercial public pools need to have these anti-drowning um, things so that someone's long hair can't get stuck in there. And so we give your clients a whole write-up on how to get with a company that can make sure that even if it's an older pool or newer pool, that those kind of safety features are put in there. Um, we'll talk about handrails, ladders, if they're damaged, loose, or missing, uh, the skimmers, then we talk about the decks, the stepping and the coping, if there's any damage in that area, the, if the condition of the interior finish, the condition of the water. We talk about algae project, uh, pre uh, prevention. Again, if the light doesn't work, if, if anything's wrong with the filter, the pumps, the valves uh, and the piping, like if it's leaking, if it's old, if it's, uh, if it's not working properly, um, all of that is a consideration. Um, things about the heater, we give them annual service, tidbits about the heater. Um, if the chemicals aren't stored safely, and then if there's any electrical issues. And I know you're going to say, you know, wouldn't you put the electrical in the electrical if you watched all my trainings, like, right? And I get that, but we just, we wanted all the pool stuff together because a lot of times the, the pool person would fix all that. Um, if there's a diving board, we would comment on the condition of that. Um, and then for spas, same kind of thing. We're going to operate them. Same kind of things. We're looking for damage, things not working, inoperable. Um, but again, a pool could have been installed. 40 years ago, it was installed under those rules. We're not there talking about code. We're not talking about this wasn't done right. Um, you know, the most common things we see are like gates that aren't auto shutting, uh, gates that don't latch automatically. And basically you just, from a liability standpoint, you want to keep the uh, neighborhood kids out. You don't want like a little three-year-old going in your backyard and falling in the pool and, and, and getting hurt or worse. So that's what we're looking at for the pool. Um, it is an add-on charge because not every house has a pool. Um, but we, again, if you compare what we look at, what we potentially write down compared to what the industry standard is, ours is about 30, 40% uh, more informational. So I hope that helps you understand what we're looking for with the pools. We'll see you in the next training.